So you guys, this is my week 11 on the weight loss drug Sexenda. I have so much good news to report, okay? I mixed it up after last week of gaining a whole lot of weight. And I have some good news to share about my workouts. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been around here a while. I am Kendra. This is my channel, Kind Kendra Creates. This is my space for sharing my weight loss journey with you. Hopefully I can help you out along the way. You'll also get some commentary from me and hopefully you'll learn about me along the way. So if that stuff sounds good to you, then go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up to date with what's going on with me. All right, guys, so this has been week 11. So last week, it was challenging seeing my large gain. And if you have not saw my week 10 video, please go check out my week 10 video because I talk a lot about my weight gain, a lot about the challenges, just having a very sucky week in general, okay? I was traveling. I just had a lot going on. Like I had been sick. Like, and I guess this just goes to show you that sometimes life can just get crazy and hectic, but that doesn't mean give up on your goals. That doesn't mean stop your weight loss journey. That just means to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, keep going, and maybe even try something new because y'all, I tried something new this week. Okay. We're going to talk about it. Okay. So I usually talk about my eating habits for the week. Like if I indulged or anything or how did things go with that? And let me tell you what I did. Oh, yeah. You guys know that your girl has been on a calorie counting mission. Yeah, I know. It's been crazy. A calorie counting mission mission. Okay. So throughout my whole weight loss journey, I decided that I wasn't going to count calories because I've done it so many times in the past that I was just going to eat what I wanted to eat, you know, within reason and moderate. And so far that has been working excellently for me. And then this past week I had a bad week and I gained a lot of weight and I was like, I got to change something up because my body is just like, oh, whoa. So I feel like me and traveling don't mix. And so <laughs> I always wind up gaining weight when I travel. So I was like, what can I do to not only get back in a good routine, but also get back into my good eating habits? So I was like, I'm just going to track what I eat. So that's what I did, y'all. I track what I ain't. And if you have not checked that video out, make sure that you check out that video because I'm calorie counting and I talk about everything that happened in the week. Okay, so you guys can check that video out to see like everything I ate for the week and how things went with that. But my eating habits for the week were on point. I'm talking about like, whoa. And to me on point is if I have McDonald's one day, like I'm not gonna sweat over that. Like one day, that's not a big deal for me. Or if I have a graham cracker as a snack, that's not a big deal for me. I'm talking about generally. Like if I'm eating 80% like healthy, you know, nutritionally dense foods, then I'm good. Okay. Other people have different standards for healthy eating or whatever. That's fine for them. Great for them. <laughs> but uh, I can't do not ever having a treat, not ever having a snack, not ever having fast food or a convenience meal because that just doesn't work for my life. So my eating habits were on point for the week. Okay, so Monday I had my follow-up appointment with my doctor. This is the, the first time I'm seeing my doctor for my follow-up appointment and there was nothing really to discuss. She said that she was glad of my progress and I was progressing well. Their scale is different. 
So she had me weighing in last time at 227. And then she had me weighing in this time at 217. Um, and you know, they weigh you with all your clothes on after you've eaten during the day and all of that stuff. So she says 10 pounds in two and a half months. Yeah, which is 10 weeks. So like a pound a week. So yeah, whatever. I've lost more than that. So whatever, lady. I did ask her about the constipation and I had finally like went properly. So it wasn't even really a big deal. And it wasn't really anything to talk about at the doctor. She just said I was progressing well. Oh, she did bring up Wegovy. And Wegovy is still on back order. So I'm not going to be getting that like anytime soon. But she said that she did want to switch me to Wegovy whenever it becomes available. So she said probably maybe when I come back in three months. So my next appointment will be in three months. At that point in time, it'll be like six months on the medication. So we'll see how I'm doing in six months, y'all. We will see. I'm excited because things have been going pretty well for me. They've been going pretty well for you, girl. All right. So we're going to talk about exercise for the week. You guys know my week starts on Saturday. I don't exercise on the weekends because I got to go out to the gym and I have to take care of my baby on the weekend. So whatever. Monday... I did not go to the gym. I went to the doctor. And then after the doctor, because my husband went with me to the doctor because he wanted to grill the doctor with all kind of questions about the medicine and blah, 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 blah. So whatever. I let him do him. He's very supportive and everything. And so it made me feel good that he was willing to come with me and get questions for himself. Because a lot of times, you know, you read stuff on the internet or whatever and it's BS. And you just want to know from a reputable source. And I go to like a, well, it's not a clinic, but it's a, a, it is a group of doctors that specialize in obesity. So they know they're the experts in the field. So after that, he wanted to watch movies or whatever. So we just spent some time together before we got the baby from the babysitters. And then Tuesday comes and... Honestly, I just got so busy. Like, I didn't even get a chance to go to the gym. So I worked from home. And then it was just like, after that, like, I cooked dinner. And I was just, I was just busy. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but I finally made it to the gym on Wednesday. And I had the luxury of doing an hour and a half. I did an hour on the elliptical. And I did 30 minutes on the treadmill. So I was really excited about that. Okay. So, Thursday comes. And I start a fitness challenge. Can you believe that? So I'm actually not going to be going to the gym for the next 30 days. I'm going to be working out from home. I know y'all, that's why, right? Something that I said I never would do because I feel like once I get home, I'm just going to lose like all motivation to do it. But since I'm doing it as part of a fitness challenge, I figured I was like, uh, it's only 30 days. I can make it work. So I am doing Becca Vanderfitz. She's a creator here on YouTube. I'll have the her link in my description below. But she decided to do the 30 day Grow With Joe challenge. And you guys can come on and join. You guys don't have to do it for 30 days. You can do it for 27. You can do it for 21. 20, 19, 15, whatever you want to do. So I started that on Thursday. So I was really excited to start the challenge or whatever. And it wore me out. It was like nearly an hour. It was like 52 minutes and it's like moving like, uh, 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 uh. And I was like, okay, okay. And it was so funny because I work from home on Thursdays. So my husband is around and he's bothering me. And he decides to come in there and disturb me and mess it with me. I was like, okay, well, I guess you want to exercise too. <laughs> and he came in and he joined me. He did like five minutes, y'all. And I was like, sir. And he like, <gasps> I was like, mm-hmm. That come from not working out. <laughs> and he talked about how proud he was of me and how I was doing so well. And I was like, oh. So it was sweet because. A lot of times people are doing this stuff. They get no love from anybody, you know. So I want to give you some love. If you're on a weight loss journey and you're changing and you're 
performing better and you're getting your diet on point and your fitness on track and all of that good stuff, I want to give you some love. I want to say congratulations, keep up the good work, and you are amazing. And you'll continue crushing your goals, okay? That happens on Thursday. And then Friday, it was like a Bruno Mars dance uh, video or whatever. It was only like six, 15, 16 minutes. It was pretty short. So then I decided to do another video because I still had a little time before I had to pick up my baby. I don't know why I picked this video. <laughs> I know why. Because it was in like the little playlist thing and it was just like one of the first videos that popped up. And so I did it and it was like a workout to like black pink. Y'all, it was, it was too high intensity and it was a lot of kind of like jumping and stuff. And your girl can't be jumping like that because I don't have knees like Megan. So yeah, but I kind of modified it. But I would say all in all, the week went well for exercise. You guys know that I strive for five. But if I get three, I'm good. And so I got in my three this week. And starting next week, I guess I'll be exercising on the weekends. Because I want to say with this challenge, there's only maybe like one rest day a week or something. But like some of the videos are like shorter than others. So if you're only doing a 15 minute video in a day, that's not a long workout at all. So I don't mind it at all. But of course, I'm going to update you on that in my next video. So exercise was good for the week. Okay, so we're going to talk about side effects. I mean, like you guys know, I've been having a pretty easy time with side effects and everything. But this was weird, y'all, this week. Okay, so throughout the whole entire week, I would say my fullness level was decreased. I don't get as hungry as fast. but I feel like I'm not as full as I once was. And maybe that is from counting calories. Maybe I'm eating less than I was. I don't know. But that's not a side effect, but <laughs> I noticed though my week went perfectly as far as side effects goes. But I noticed one thing that was occurring throughout the week and it was like it started on Monday. It was like literally as soon as I left the doctor's office, I started getting a sore throat, which was kind of weird. And I was like, you guys know I had just had strep throat. I was put on a round of antibiotics. It cleared up, went away. Everything was good. I was like, oh no, is the strep bad? What's going on? But it wasn't like the strep. It was just like a normal kind of like sore throat feeling like you get. And so I was like, oh goodness gracious. I was like, it'll go away or whatever, or either I'll just wind up getting a cold, but it didn't go away. It lasted for the duration of the week, and I was supposed to go to the doctor on Friday. The doctor, like, canceled or something. She had a meeting or something. I don't know. But I go to the doctor in, like, a week, so I'll ask then. But it went away, so I'm happy about the fact that it went away. But it was just weird and it was out of the blue. So I don't know if they had something to do with Sexenda or what. And then Friday, I felt kind of weak. I don't know why. I don't, I just, I don't, I can't explain it. Like I said, I don't know if it's a Sexenda or what, but a girl was feeling weak. I was at work and I was sitting at my desk and I'm typing or whatever. And I just feel weak. It reminded me of right before you get a cold or you get the flu or something that like really like tired feeling but not necessarily like sleepy just that I feel fatigued I guess you could say that's what it was I feel fatigued and um it kind of lasted me throughout the day and you know I powered through my workout or whatever but I was like man I just I feel a little weak I don't know what that was about either. All I know is when I went to sleep and woke up, it was gone. So I was happy about that. So once again, I just always talk about what's going on with me and what's going on with my body and what I'm experiencing because I don't want to leave anything out. And, you know, I don't want to like mislead anyone if they're thinking about taking the medicine, you know, and I don't want to just like exaggerate all the good points and then don't bring up the bad points. But I would say all in all, my whole experience as far as like weird bodily side effects is it has been nothing like life shattering or like anything that would interrupt my normal daily activities. 
So, or maybe I just don't complain a lot. <laughs> I don't know, but to me, the side effects that I have or what I've experienced have been 100% worth it. Like for me to not lose weight for two months and then for me to like, I'm talking about be successful, like on this medicine, like it's been all worth it to me, you know, right now. <laughs> I say like, right now. <laughs> Hopefully it can continue and I won't get sick or anything and you will continue to hear my praises of the medicine. So no real side effects to report, but things that could possibly happen. Okay, y'all. So this is the big moment you have been waiting for. And that is my weight loss progress. Okay. So this week has been good. I've been on point, all right? So my weight loss has been twofold this week, or I guess you could say threefold. So of course I'm taking the medicine, right? I started this week counting my calories, right? And I mixed it up with exercise. So it's no longer just elliptical or treadmill. I did like the dance kind of workouts or whatever like the aerobic stuff and like moving and twisting and jumping and all that stuff so i mixed it up this week and let me tell you if you are in any type of plateau or you need to mix it up you need to do something different you know there are so many things that you can experiment with but uh i experimented with it all this week and the scale showed so I began at 216.2 pounds. So this is what more of my weight was at the doctor, right? After a week of Saxenda, a week of calorie counting, and a week of mixing things up with my workouts, I am now, wait for you guys, sit down if you're, if you're not sitting, 208.2. Five pounds. That is a weight loss, y'all, of 7.7 7 pounds. Okay. I'm going to go in with a disclaimer that this is rapid weight loss and it's not something that you should strive for. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there, right? So I feel like my starting weight of 216.2 is not really like truthful. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, because remember I was on a vacation and all of that stuff. So I really feel like my starting weight was more of around 212 or 213, 212.9, which is 213. Okay. And so even that would have me losing like around four pounds. So which is still rapid weight loss. And I feel like I want to do a video about rapid weight loss because I always see people like, I'm not losing weight or... You know, or I lost only one pound, only two pounds. Like, that's good. Like, I digress. But anyways, so my advice to you, if you're not seeing the scale go down or you want the scale to go down or is mix it up, mix it up, count your calories, do a different workout. Like, so now this makes me feel like <laughs> I am going to make it to my goal. I have a lofty goal to get under 200 pounds by the end of the year. That's kind of sort of a month and a half away. So we'll see if I can do it, y'all. Ah, we'll see. I am definitely going to continue the calorie counting because it has been extremely helpful. <laughs> so we're going to see if I can push it. If I can get under 200 pounds by the end of the year. And this will be such a milestone for me because I don't remember the last time I was under 200 pounds. I was 200 pounds as a 15 year old freshman in high school, okay? So I don't know when the last time I saw a one something on the scale. Like, I don't know. And if you're feeling bad about like not losing weight after children, or not losing weight as a 40-year-old woman or whatever. Like, I am living proof as someone who has literally been obese, like, most of my, like, pretty much, all, let's just say all my life. I've had a child. I'm damn near 40. Like, 
you guys can do it, okay? I just want to throw that out there. If you are worried you can't do it or whatever, now, it's difficult. It takes a strong commitment. It takes a lot of consistency. It's not easy. It's not going to be quick, okay? But if you have that will, that determination, and consistency to keep going, I think you can do it. That was my weight loss progress, (laughs) y'all. And of course, you guys, I'm not going to leave you without a positive word. So this week's positive word comes from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. (laughs) Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Oh my gosh. I love that. This is literally just what I was talking about. Talking about consistency. It is the one single most important things that you can do to be successful on your weight loss journey. Let me tell you why. Because a lot of people give up. Once that scale starts staying the same, or maybe it goes up, people give up. People have a binge. Maybe they overeat. Maybe they don't eat their usual healthy foods. They throw in the towel. They give up. If they can't get to the gym in a couple of days, those couple of days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months and then they give up. Just be consistent. I know it's hard. I know it's a lot harder than it's than what people make it out to be. But consistency, consistency is the key. If you can get in a good routine and do those things that you need to be to be successful, then you can become consistent. And consistency leads to success. Those small little gains, they lead to big gains. They lead to big achievements and big accomplishments. Because this thing is not going to happen overnight. It takes a very long time to lose a large amount of weight. Sometimes it takes a long time to lose a small amount of weight. And I know that I am not going to lose the rest of my weight in a month, in two months, in three months. It'll probably take me another year. Am I looking forward to it? No, I'm not. But I have to continue to be consistent to have the success that I greatly strive for. I hope that you guys can have some consistency to continue to keep striving for the things that you want to do and the things that you want to achieve. Because people often get in our ears and tell us certain things, or sometimes we get in our own heads and we tell ourselves certain things. And I don't want you guys to feel like you can't be consistent, like you can't be successful, like you can't do it. I really hope that you guys can continue to be consistent on your weight loss journey, okay? Okay. So if you like that positive word, make sure you like this video. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you do, so you can keep on getting these positive words. And make sure you spread kindness in a world full of hate. And I will see you on the next time. (laughs) Bye-bye, you guys.